so now that next is the contract so you know like from that business perspective so <clears throat> whenever that business has to initiate any purchasing egg purchasing like process so what they are doing first they are first just searching the supplier and when like once they, they find out the supplier they are onboarding the supplier in their database that's something we did with the supplier solutions and we have created that uh, that supplier record in the our customer database and whatever the necessary activity that is required for example sub, like uh, supplier registration supplier qualification or paper supplier activity that's something they have to do so basically this uh, supplier uh, qualification and preferred supplier that's something we are not that buyer are not doing like immediately so first they are starting that like uh, purchasing activity with the supplier and based upon the supplier performance like how they are playing while in actual delivery like uh, in order to receive that on time delivery in order to like uh, uh, good quality in order to like uh, the best price so first we have to like uh, we have to analyze that part and then only we have to initiate that supplier qualification and the preferred supplier activity and once the supplier part will come so we that uh, then they have to like from bank side they have to initiate for the supplier negotiation part they have to discuss with the um, uh, couples of the supplier just to find out the best price and once they will find out the best price so whatever that uh, term and conditions or whatever the price or whatever that some discounted options that's something they discussed that uh, with the supplier so those information should be in document because you know in that like uh, in business world there is no scope of the oral communication so everything should be uh, in document so that doc to in like that documents that's something we have to include in the form of the contract so basically contract is also called as a like legal agreement so in that legal agreement that whatever the term and conditions and other parameter that's something we have find out uh, from the our sourcing event that's something we have to include so now in today's session we'll start this our contract module so we'll see we'll talk about the like uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about the different like uh, type of contract which is is supporting and in this scenario that we may have to use or we may propose to the customer that for which which contract type they have to go as per their current business process <laughs> so as you know like contract is very simple like uh, you know that is a uh, that known uh, terminology so we are all from the sap background and we already know what is contract so in overall that just for like a uh, high level that contract is nothing that is something like a legal agreement which including which includes that uh, term and conditions and the discounted price whatever the supplier is going to offer so just to take the benefits in the future so whenever we will create any purchase acquisition purchase order so that we can utilize the contract to take the benefits so in ariba contract module that we have the the buyer have the provision that they can create the contract so they, they can create the contract and with the help of the like a sourcing project or if they do not have the sourcing module in that case they have to they can create the contract directly from the create menu so though like uh, both the options are available but it depends so i mean there will be the two scenario one scenario is that if the customer they have the contract module along with the sourcing module so once they will complete that sourcing activity so from the sourcing screen itself that ariba is offering these options to initiate the contract same way we can see in this screen so for this event we have done the awarding in our previous session and we can see that now system is showing this contract options here that means we can simply initiate this contract with reference to this sourcing project this is one option second option is that if we do not have like uh, this sourcing module and we would like to create the contract so we can create the contract from the home page from the create menu so if you come in the create menu we will have three options that is create contract workspace internal contract workspace procurement and contract workspace sales so basically internal and sales that is something out of scope because you know sales is only applicable for the supplier so if the supplier they are like acting as a buyer and uh, as a uh, buyer and seller as well so in that case they have to use this like a sales and uh, internal means something you know like that uh, sending the that material sending the products within same company code and different plant that is something uh, will be come as the internal and the contract workspace procurement that something is for the purchasing activity so we'll talk about that uh, contract workspace procurement so how we have to create this contract workspace procurement from the create menu so even like if you click here 
here so system will navigate to the same screen will come on this part again and uh, we, we system will give the same screen when we we'll, like uh, choose this options to create create contract like as a stand alone from the create menu so but but first we'll see that how to create the contract from the sourcing project itself because generally in the real time that business they are also following the same activity but in case only if they have both the modules are available that is sourcing and contract okay so now let me just jump to the our sourcing event all right so whenever we have to uh, initiate the contract from our sourcing event so in that case we have to come in the award so remember in only one case we can create the contract once we have done the awarding so after awarding like after completion of the awarding process only we will have the choice to create the contract so once you come in the awards so we can see the awarding information are, are available here in the downside and we can also see the contract button is also available so it will only be available if the awarding process will be completed so let's assume that we have to create the contract from the sourcing project in that case we have to come here in this contract button and we have to click on this drop down so once we click on this drop down system will give this two option one option is that create new contract second one is the add to existing contract so create new means like you know like from the scratch so in this case let's say we do not have any existing contract or might be that we have some existing contract as well but supplier is something different and we would like to create a new contract from the scratch in that case we have to select the options that create new contract but add to existing contract option is applicable if you already have some contract and if you want to like amend this information the sourcing information in that existing contract in that case we can simply select this options to add to existing contract so now let me just hit this create new contract and we'll see how to create this new contract let me hit here 